Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's April 26th, 2024. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. First up, and as always, let's take a quick look at the stock market and five stocks on the move within the world of waste, gas, and energy. As of April 26, 2024, Opal Energy is currently sitting at $4.62 per share. Ranger Energy ended the day at $10.25 per share. Forum Technologies is up $0.13 cents to $19.47 per share. Black Hills Core is also up a little, up $0.05 cents to $54.25 per share. But Clean Energy Fuels Core is up almost 9%. They're up $0.20 cents and ended the day at $2.45 per share. And now moving into the news, when it comes to Clean Energy Core's big stock gains recently, you could certainly point to the fact they announced this past week their latest renewable natural gas facility, located at Victory Farms Dairy in Revilla, South Dakota, has successfully completed construction and is injecting pipeline quality RNG into the interstate natural gas infrastructure. The Victory Farms 2 digester facility is currently using approximately 120,000 gallons of manure each day and is projected to produce an estimated 900,000 gallons of negative carbon intensity RNG each year. And it's certainly going to look like we can use every gallon of renewable natural gas we can get because this past week, the Transport Project and Coalition for Renewable Natural Gas announced that 79% of all on-road fuel used in natural gas vehicles in 2023 was renewable natural gas, surpassing even the previous year's record-breaking level. RNG used as a transportation fuel grew 16% over 2022's levels and is up 92% from 2019. The Transport Project and RNG Coalition report that in 2023, a total of 675 million gallons of natural gas was used as motor fuel, with 531 of that coming from renewable sources. David Cox, the founder and CFO for the RNG Coalition, said, quote, the renewable natural gas supply is growing, with 338 RNG facilities transforming waste into fuel and another 489 planned or under construction, we are increasingly able to affordably offer consumers the opportunity to decarbonize with RNG, the cleanest of any fuel available today. End quote. And up next, maybe even in response to the numbers from the last story, this past week, the Environmental Protection Agency announced the launch of the nearly $1 billion Clean Heavy Duty Vehicles Grant Program to fund the replacement of certain polluting heavy duty vehicles with zero emission vehicles. Funded through the Inflation Reduction Act under President Biden's Investing in America agenda, the EPA will award competitive grants for projects that will reduce climate and air pollution from heavy-duty vehicles, support good-paying jobs, and improve air quality for communities across the country. EPA Administrator Michael Regan said about the program, quote, The program's historic investment in zero-emission vehicles will secure our nation's position as a global leader in clean technologies that address the impacts of climate change, end quote. And it's possible America's commitment to renewable energy in the vehicle sector is already rubbing off. Because up next... Vehicle manufacturer Hyundai has secured a deal that will grant them 100% renewable electricity in the U.S. Hyundai has contracted to get solar power for all of its U.S. factories. The Motor Group has signed a 15-year power purchase agreement with Matrix Renewables to get that solar electricity. The electricity is coming from a 147-megawatt power plant called the Stillhouse Solar Project. From this large solar plant, 378 gigawatt hours of electricity is expected to be produced each year. The estimate, therefore, is that it will reduce Hyundai's carbon emissions by 140,000 tons per year. And just a reminder, Recyclist is brought to you by Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondside.com, or you can schedule a webinar with them by calling 321 321- 223-7500. Now on with the news. And up next, great news for anybody looking to begin a new renewable energy project. 
as the Department of Energy is simplifying the environmental review process for certain energy storage systems such as battery systems, transmission line upgrades, and even solar photovoltaic systems. In support of the Biden-Harris administration's goal to promote the development of clean energy and the supporting infrastructure, the DOE is taking these steps to reduce the cost and time for environmental analysis. Under the changes, the DOE will continue to look closely at each proposed project while being able to complete its environmental review responsibilities in both a faster and less expensive manner. And it seems the DOE has been very busy this week because that's not all. Up next, the department also announced this past week it has delivered on Congress's mandate to cut emissions from new or newly renovated federal buildings through what is called the Clean Energy for New Federal Buildings and Major Renovations of Federal Buildings rule. By meeting the requirements of the rule, federal buildings will reduce pollution, improve air quality, create good paying jobs, and take advantage of cost savings from using more energy efficient equipment. These measures will help advance the federal sustainability plan and the goal of meeting net zero emissions from all federal buildings by 2045. U.S. Secretary of Energy Jennifer Granholm said, quote, The Biden-Harris administration is practicing what we preach. Just as we are helping households and businesses across the nation save money by saving energy, we are doing the same in our own federal buildings. End quote. And up next, a new partnership is poised to create big results as Total Energies, a globally integrated energy company, and Vanguard Renewables, a U.S. leader in farm-based organics to renewable natural gas production, have signed an agreement to create an equally owned joint venture to develop, build, and operate farm-powered RNG projects in the United States. Total Energies and Vanguard Renewables will advance 10 RNG projects into construction over the next 12 months with a total annual RNG capacity of 0.8 terawatt hours. The three initial projects in this agreement are currently under construction in Wisconsin and Virginia, each with a unit capacity of nearly 75 gigawatt hours of RNG per year. And lastly, BP's Arkea Energy has celebrated the startup of its original Arkea Modular Design Renewable Natural Gas Plant in Jeffersonville, Kentucky. They did so with a ribbon-cutting ceremony. The plant sits next to Montgomery County Landfill, which is owned by Rumpke Waste and Recycling. Using the Arkea Modular Design process, the Montgomery County plant captures the gas from Rumpke's landfill and converts it to RNG. The Montgomery County Landfill can process up to 3,200 cubic feet of landfill gas per minute into renewable natural gas, enough gas to heat around 13,000 homes annually, according to the EPA's Landfill Gas Energy Benefits Calculator. Will Burton, Executive Vice President at Arkea, said, quote, This opening marks a significant milestone for us in the Midwest. It's our second Arkea modular design project with Rumpke and shows our collective strength and ingenuity. We are thrilled to provide Kentucky communities with a cleaner and more sustainable fuel source. End quote. And that has been your Recyclist News Roundup for April 26, 2024, presented by Diamond Scientific. I've been your host, Eric Provost, and we'll see you back next week for another brand new episode of Recyclist. Thank you.